constant content email marketing tutorial step by step. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use this software to create our email campaigns. Basically it's not that hard. So here we are on constantcontent.com. They provide us the opportunity to try their uh, software for free. So we can just simply click on log in or sign up if you don't have an account and we'll come to the page with our like uh, dashboard where we can find start our work. So here we are as you can see in the top of the screen We can find the campaigns folder contact reporting sign up forms Google Ads and SEO Events social and integration So if you are new to this service we'll have these like three steps here So you can easily create your first email add contacts to your account and create a social post like uh, it's like their tip or something like this but in this video i'm going to show you how can we interact with all the software so let's go to campaigns area and uh, from this page here we can easily manage all the campaigns uh, we have you can find the like sort them by status last modified folders and so on in order to create you can just simply click on create right up here in contacts area, we can interact with uh, our subscribers, with our members, all the guys who are going to interact with our email. So from this page here, we can easily uh, manage all this stuff. As you can see, we have the option to create lists. If we are going to divide our members into different groups, we can also add contacts, we can create a new content, we can upload them from file, from uh, like CSV file, XLS and so on. Also, we can use different integrations and upload a subscriber's emails. If you are going to find what integrations do they have, they have like BigCommerce, Constant Contact app, Shopify, WooCommerce, Zapier, and we can also browse for some more, but these are the most popular. So it's pretty cool that you have like Shopify integration and WooCommerce integration, like most uh, useful apps. And from this page here, we can also interact with our um, subscribers. We can just simply delete, export, rename, and do some other stuff. All the features are right up here. On the reporting folder, we can find a lot of uh, different reports, a lot of stats. We can easily interact to analyze all the data, to find the trends, to manage email campaigns and so on. On the sign up forms, as you know, uh, through the name, we can easily interact with different forms. We can easily create to engage our subscribers to make it easier as for them maybe to buy our products or do some other stuff. They also have like uh, different tools here, like legacy landing page, WordPress sign up form and so on. And if you are going to interact with the Google Ads and CEO area, we can find a lot of information uh, about like this stuff here and the other folders are not that helpful if uh, we are going to discuss like email campaigns and so on if you're going to campaign folder we can easily uh, like interact with campaign so let's try to create our first campaign here let's go to campaigns folder and we'll click on create button in the right uh, top corner right up here so uh, basically we can e uh, interact with like email campaigns, automation, social post ads, legacy events, survey pages, landing pages and Google ads and CEO. Basically, let's try to create the email campaign and we'll walk through all these steps uh, we have on this website to make it easier for you to understand all the things. So here we are, we need to find our template. We can easily uh, create them from scratch from bank templates. You can uh, use like custom code or import PDF. For example, if you created it in Canva or maybe in some other area uh, like editors, or we can scroll down to find uh, some like templates we are going, we can easily use like from these. And as you can see, they have like the names like admin card, agent feedback and so on. So uh, in this case, let's try to use this one here. It looks like the newsletter. Let's click on preview to view how does it look like. And it looks like this, total responsive as for different devices, like for the desktop, for the mobile phone. And it's pretty cool. Let's click on select template. We are going to interact with this part here. And we'll come to our editor where we can like interact with every single element. We can customize and do some other stuff. So basically here we are, as you can see in this in the central part, we can find the 
letter and we can interact with different sections. For example, this text has these properties here. We can make it bulk, italic, underline. So it depends on your interest. We can easily interact with image, with text. We can change the background and do some other stuff. In the left side, there is a menu from this page here. We can easily build, like we can create different blocks with text, image, button, divider, spacer, social share, and so on. Also like action blocks, pool, RSVP, product, like uh, different layouts and so on. So sometimes it could be really helpful. It depends on your purposes. So you can create them by your own. In the images area, we can find like all the images we edit. We can upload files here and then just paste them, uh, add them into our uh, like letter. And in the design area, we can find a lot of uh, stuff with background, borders and so on. So in this case, this is the way of how can we interact with uh, letters. So you need to create them by your own. And also, as you can see, we can like replace our sections, we can move them up, down and so on. Let's click on continue to find uh, how does uh, the next step look like so we'll come here and as you can see now we need to choose uh, when to send we can send it now or we can schedule it for later so if you're scheduled for later we need to paste the date and also we need to choose the recipients we can select them right up here so we can just click on general interest and all the contacts will be selected and also like an additional if you're new to this service you'll have to verify your email uh, and also like at the physical address and uh, set up some email settings but these are the way so we can click just simply click on save and as you can see also like some restriction here but when everything is done it will be easy as for us to uh, follow the next step so now we can edit this campaign right up here so this is a way basically of how can we create and run our uh, email campaign and if you are going to discover the paid plans of content uh, constant content we can find like three plans here and as you can see they have like light standard and premium version like $20 per month 35 and $80 per month and basically uh, there is like some differences, but what is cool is that it provides us the opportunity to try it for free. All we need to do is just to prove the email and as you can see we have like 60 days left in your trial. So it's pretty cool, it's, an, it's too much even for the starting interaction. And also we can uh, like manage our marketing from anywhere, from phones and from other stuff. So basically uh, this is the way of how can we interact with constant content in the way of email marketing. If you have any questions you can write to them in the comments below. I'll try to answer for all of your questions. And that's all for this tutorial. Hope you're doing great and this video made your life a little bit easier. Um, I will discover constant contact in the next video. So I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.